We do have team coverage tonight from both shooting sites, and we're going to begin with KPRC 2's Rochelle Turner, who has been in Waller County all day long. And Rochelle, you are learning a little bit more about the plan and how this was all planned in this event. Daniela, so far no arrests have been made. Now, the county judge granted the permit for this event to take place, and his office is looking into the circumstances surrounding this event when it includes parking, trash pickup, and security. We spoke to one man who leases property not too far from where we're standing, and he said he's not surprised that someone got shot, and he wants something done about this event happening in the future. What was supposed to be a fun event quickly turned into a nightmare for thousands of people at the Prairie View A&M homecoming trail ride and party. All you heard was bow, bow, bow. So I just took off running and I couldn't like, I was trying to look for my cousin, my sister. She was, everybody was scattered. Seven people, including a child, were flown to the hospital after someone fired into the crowd. A spokesperson with Prairie View a and University said the event was not associated with the school in any way. The Waller County Sheriff's Office says while the county judge approved the event in October, Precinct 3 constables and a private security agency handled security. However, county leaders say protocols were not followed. In a post on Facebook, the county judge said all attendees had to be searched for weapons as they entered the event. All parking had to be on site with no parking allowed on county roads or FM roads. Event organizers were instructed to have all trash picked up during the event. Organizers were also told to watch noise levels, and the event was supposed to end no later than midnight. Every year it's gotten worse. Josh Tillery takes care of the hay on the property near the event location and says he is fed up with this property being destroyed and organizers not following the rules. After all the gunshots, everybody started leaving. So what's it take? Somebody gets shot every year to stop this? This is crazy. Like, it doesn't even make sense. Like, take this to the big city. Like, we're a small town. We don't want this. In that Facebook post, the county judge also said that he has already met with university officials and that he is considering meeting with state legislators to try to see if there's a plan that they can put in place to make sure there is safety plans when it comes to having these big events. Now, I did speak with the sheriff over the phone today, and he told me that once this investigation is complete, his office will hold a press conference. University officials are waiting to learn the names of the victims who were involved in this shooting to see if any of them were students at the school. Reporting live in Waller County, I'm Rochelle Turner, KPRC 2 News. Rochelle.